Hi everyone. Now, what I'm tying at the moment is, uh, I'll give you an idea, I'm starting, uh, I'm starting a fly box. This is a, a box I'm filling for the, the monthly draw that I do. Uh, this is going to be the, basically mayflies, dabblers, uh, flies like that. Um, as you can see, these are mayflies I'm tying at the moment. The fly I'm going to be tying is this sort of dark mayfly. This is a, it's one I tied for mask. Uh, they did quite well, though I'm sure it would fish in many other locks in Ireland. But for the last mayfly, these are it's a good style of fly. So what I'm going to be doing is filming a few. And other flies I'm going to be tying will be in the style of this. We've got octopus. We've got the gorgeous George, dabblers. So these are the type of flies I'm going to be putting in the box. Now the flies, I mean the Irish patterns. I mean they're quite large. They're the sort of big suggestive type flies as much as they are representing natural flies. Uh, like the mayfly, which is a very important time of the year in Ireland, and uh, though they, these flies keep fishing throughout the season, this they, they keep going, and they're interesting styles. Uh, I have tied this is the fly I'm going to be tying. This one here, and uh, it's just basically a fly I put together uh, for a friend that fishes and works there. Uh, as part of his, well, his hobby, as much as he's living, and. Uh, and this is one, as I say, it's quite nice. Uh, unusual, I finish it off. Normally you'd have the, the French partridge in the front, but I'm finishing off with a hen. This hen neck. This is a, just an old, it's an Indian grizzle neck. Uh, a dyed sunburst. It wasn't very good, but it's the colours ideal. Uh, it just blends into the, this fly and it, it came back, as, it worked really well. So I'm going to show you how to tie this fly. and. Uh, and some of the others as we go on through the through the box. Now, the hook I'm going to be using, this is a full and mill hook, it's a competition heavyweight size 10. Now you could tie it on the lighter hook, the all purpose medium, uh, which would lift a wee bit higher. But this this is kind of standard hook they would use. Uh, if you were using Camasan it would be the B175 or the B170, uh, be either or, but anyway. Thread, in this case I'm going to be using is the Olive Dunn, an 8 0 uni thread. Now, oops, a bit squeaky. Now, to stop the squeaking, what I do is, I can't show you really, but basically these, I take the spool off and I rub these ends on my nose, side of my nose. It gets a wee bit of natural oil, and what that does, takes the squeak away, as you probably realise if you listen now. No problem. And I, I would recommend you do stuff like that because it makes the, the thread flow nicely from the, the, the bobbin holder. So we've waxed with thread, we start at the eye, and I'm going to quickly run my thread down for a layer of thread. Now, take away the waist, run it to the point or line with the barb. We tie in. Now, I like to use this is uh, not this is a uh, pheasant tail, cock pheasant tail. Uh, it's from the ring neck pheasant. Now, so this has been dyed, you can see a wee touch of yellow. It's there. So when you bring this out, 90 degrees, gives us the, the tail length, or the lines up the tips. Now, the tail can be, uh, some some of the people I originally tied for, prefer a tail, it's not too long, but you're looking for, a, if it was a wingy fly or a mayfly, uh, and the mayfly are big, so you're looking for a good inch. So you look at an inch, at least over the back. So use that as a measure. And as I say, you could go longer. Just a wee check. Now, we tad long, you can only just pull it in a wee bit. Tighten back up. And there we are. Now, there's half a dozen fibres there. Trim away the waste. Now, you can either rub this fly with a gold, or even a silver oval tinsel, a small size. Or what I like to do, I use in this one the Chinese red, sorry, the uni, uh, this colour, nice bright colour. Do I have a strand line with this? So I'll tie this on. Tie it on the top. Now you quickly run your thread up to make sure this is tied in. There we are, nice and tied. And then bring your thread back down. Right to the tail, but what you can do is come up maybe about a mill or so with just the thread. What this does, it gives you, it helps to taper the, the back of the fly. 
Now, what I'm going to show you is this colour here. Now, this this is a a, a medium olive and a, a light olive blended together, just to get this colour. I just blend them together. It's a nice, it's a nice warm colour. It works really well, and uh, it's it's again blends to me well, give it a bit more depth, uh, a bit more colour when the light's right. And if you can mix colours, I always find they're far better. Now, just dubbing on, the anchor point becomes a hook when you tie it on with the first turn. And then from there you can actually tighten the dubbing. And then you can set the loosen off and build up a shape. You can go back in yourself. We you think maybe you're a wee bit, in this case, a wee space there so we can take that back. They'll get that taper that we want, and you want a reasonable taper in the body of a, a mayfly. Now, this this is a a light or a, well, it's basically a so as you see, it's a grizzle hackle. It's got off the the green side here. It's an olive. It's an olive dye. It's an old cape I dyed many years ago. Now I've used the other half up. Uh, this is one half that's left, and I'm still using it up. Uh, it just uh, I put it in this fly just to lighten the body. Again, it's a good contrast between the dark and the light. And again, uh, anything like that works for me or works for well. Uh, so, but you could put just a, a sort of medium olive colour would do would be fine for this. And grizzle or just the plain hackle. Grizzle's good. So, you can see the hackle fibre is quite long in this. It's not the best cape. But it works well. Now, this first turn, now we've got four turns down before I tighten up. I tighten, twist the, the floss just to make it a wee bit tighter and then bring up. Just ribbon through the hackle all the way up. You know, you're looking round, you turn to the back, four turns up. So you get to the front, just pull back the fibres, catch them down nice and tight. And then what we can do then trim away the, the floss, trim away the hackle, just by a wee bit of wax on the thread, just to make sure you have plenty of grip. And then just use your fingers, like a fine velcro as I call it, and pull back the hackle. And then we've got French partridge, and this is dyed a brown olive. Now use a brown olive, it's very lightly done. There's not much dye in the in the pot as I dye these. It's uh, just a tiny bit of dubbing. Eh, sorry, dye, and you'll get this nice colour. You've just got to experiment a wee bit. And now I'm going to tie it in by the tip. Sketch it on three or four turns. Stroke it back, and there's the tip there. Now you can cut it off, or what I do is I just keep a hold of the the hackle itself and break it off. Now you can see the distance I've got there, I've got at least two, just over two mil of an area to tie, I've got two hackles to tie in. Now you've got to give yourself plenty of room. Now what I'm going to do here is stroke back the fibres, the French partridge, and I'm just going to use the hackle up, don't be shy. You can be as heavy or as light as you'd like, all the way around. Nice and tight. Just leave it as it is to now. Just take your time. Come down. Now, I can fold this back. I've still got plenty of room. I can break this off. Get a nice neat cut by doing that. Just bring out your hackle. Now you've got to remember you've wound this hackle on so you've twisted the fibre. So what I'm doing is just making sure it's just lifting it out. It will naturally come into its nice shape. And then we go to the, the wee heart, the wee cape I showed you early, earlier, and I use up the larger hackles at the top. And uh, what I look for in this, I want to tie it in where the brightest area is. So basically, I'm going to tie it close to the tip in this case. So you draw this back, just like I did with the French partridge. Catch this on, two or three turns, fold it back. Again, slip your fingers back, the tip of the hackle should pop out, break it off. 
Uh, you could use your hackle pliers or you can just use your fingers. I'm just going to use my fingers. I'm just going to use up maybe around about three turns or so. It's fine. And then three or four turns more. Again, we stroke, fold this back. I'm going to quick finish, just ignoring the waist at the moment. Just form a nice head with the, the thread. Trim away your hackle, sorry, trim away your thread. Now I'm going to break off the hackle. See, so you need to cut if you do that. And there we go, that's uh, just basically a dark olive. French partridge uh, mayfly. It's a nice colour combination. Uh, as a, now, if I remember right, mask was the, the lock that did really well. Uh, it was this type of colour that does well in mask. There's a few colours. If you look at some of these, it's another one that does really well. This is a kind of golden olive. Uh, it's a nice colour. To get that colour there, it's basically yellow. A uh, yellow dye and a wee touch of fiery brown that gives you this nice colour here and uh, that's the way I get that one natural one of the air and this is a this is a mayfly it's called after myself I, I didn't name it but the McPhail mayfly it's a great pattern it's another good pattern as I say I'm going to be filling the box up as we go along and I'll film one or two so this is the first one so hopefully I'll get I'll, I'll see how it goes and I'll add these videos on as the days go by if you feel we twist in the wee fair, and uh, you can give, hit it with a hair dryer, but that's nice. Uh, the hair dryer will open out the fibres. Maybe a bit of varnish onto the head. And, and there we go. And that's your basically a dark olive mayfly. And uh, the fluorescent rub works much like it does in the, the McPhail with the fluorescent. Uh, it does really well. So there you go. So hope you enjoyed that until the next fly and thank you for watching.